Do you think there are certain gentle pastimes that are the essence of country life, like riding your bike into town, feeding geese at the lake, selling homemade preserves at your farm gate? These are just some of the simple pleasures, are they not, of life in regional Victoria, life in regional Australia. I'd love to hear your list this afternoon. What are the things that you think are important to life, gentle, regional life, and things that you have recently been told by your council or some other authority you can no longer do? Meg Ullman is a Dalesford writer who has been working at a protest stall in the main street of Dalesford. She is up in arms about... A latest, the latest proposed ban by the Hepburn Shire Council on riding your bike along the main street and also some surrounding streets. Uh, Meg Ullman, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Nicole. Uh, Meg Ullman, you had a protest stall for a little while in the main street of Dalesford today until you got washed out. Uh, what is your major complaint about the local council's bid to ban bikes from the main street? Council, among other things, has declared a climate emergency several months ago. So this is in uh, direct conflict with that declaration. Um, it's not just down the main street where bikes will be prohibited. It is also uh, the area that they have designated uh, is also past the local Dalesford Primary School, which means that kids won't be able to ride their scooters or skateboards or bicycles to school. What do you think about that? And what sort of reasons have the local shire given you for seeking to implement this ban? They haven't actually given us a reason, um, assuming that it's to do with safety, um, but let's try to talk about how to make it more safe, to really encourage uh, adults and children to be less car dependent and to be really active, especially young children with such sedentary lifestyles these days. I feel like that's a really important aspect of the conversation. And the Dallas principal and the whole community is up in arms about this, that they were not consulted. Why is this uh, such a flashpoint for your community? I understand there are a number of other bands that are also on the cards. This is just the latest. All the other ones, um, all the other uh, proposed new draft laws, uh, we, were, um, we knew were coming, but this is a new one. So the, the draft laws were released last night on the council website leading up to Tuesday's council meeting where these laws will be rejected or accepted by our seven councillors. Um, and this one, that no riding bicycles in the CBD area was a huge surprise for all of us. What else are you banned from doing in Dalesford? We are banned from singing in public, whether you are busking or not. You're not allowed to break out into song, whether it's Christmas carols or happy birthday or just because it's a beautiful day and you have a song in your heart. Uh, you are not allowed to have a campfire, um, obviously um, on not on turtle fire band days, you know, that, that's obviously a no-brainer that you wouldn't light a fire, but if you want to have a picnic or a barbecue with friends and just have a campfire, if you're camping and you want to cook food, you can't have a campfire on the ground, it's got to be in a designated barbecue area. And I think for First Nations people, for them to express themselves culturally, what they have done for thousands of years on this country, it is immoral to be putting this in at one of our local laws. What else can't you do in Dalesford? Um, you can't have, you can't have, if you want to sell your car, you can't have your car on your native ship or anywhere else on um, public land with a for sale sign on it. And you can't have, um, regional produce, honey or eggs or flowers or preserves uh, for sale in a farm gate store. So these are just some of the things that you can't do anymore. I thought Dalesford was uh, a town where you were supposed to go to relax and enjoy the gentle beat of country life. Well, that's why I moved here 15 years ago, because I wanted a taste of the country life. So um, Dalesford has now been zoned as part of Melbourne's peri-urban fringe. So basically it's just an extension, so now it's an outer suburb of, of Melbourne now. So people, you know, so this is such a high tourist area. I think what council is forgetting that, first of all, this is a very low-income area for locals, and so we rely on so many of these things for, for income, and second of all um, is that uh, 
um, I think one in three jobs in our shire is to do with tourism. So this is just an extension, another suburb of Melbourne. We're going to lose tourists because they're not want, they want to get out of Melbourne for what is so special about our shire. And if they don't find that, then they'll just stop coming. I understand there are some restrictions on you uh, salvaging reclaimed items from your local transfer station as well. Can you take me through that? Yep, that's a really, really big one because there are so many people in this area, as I mentioned, who are low income, we're artists, we're creative types, we're frugalists, we're farmers, and we rely on our local transfer station to go and salvage materials for upcycling, for building tiny houses, for building sheds, for repurposing, you know, all of those really important um, creative responses to our times at the moment, and we're not allowed to do that. So council has said that um, we're not allowed, that we can still access items from the chip shop, but we're not allowed to go and access items from, you know, the big pile of, of, of cast-off uh, materials at the moment. So Why not? that's been a... Why not? It's for safety. So WorkSafe, they say that it's a WorkSafe issue. We contacted WorkSafe and they said it's up to each individual council to work with their community to make sure that their area is safe. So there are lots of really well done transfer stations in this region, including the Eagle Hawk one and Bendigo. And so we're saying to council, let's go on the excursion, let's take our council, our, our, um, our transfer station workers, let's go and have a look at what other, what's best practice. What are other councils doing that we can really learn from, instead of just doing a blanket ban? I understand you're not allowed to have geese at your lake. <laughs> that, was, that has been a really, really big issue. Um, the, the geese were taken away. Uh, there was a report written by the biodiversity officer saying that the, the geese um, were keeping the black swans, which were indigenous to this area, away. There was lots of kerfuffle about it because the, the Lake Dalesford um, is not a natural lake. It is a man-made, person-made lake. So, we'll, you know, we're all, we're all newcomers. We're all old timers. You know, let's just try to work with what we've got. So have you got uh, black swans now everywhere on the lake? Apparently one breeding pair has been seen, so that is a happy ending to that story. So you're not allowed to have geese on the lake, you're not allowed to sing in public, you can't have a campfire if you're camping, you've got to take it to a picnic or a barbecue area, it's got to be designated a barbecue area. If you want to sell your car, you can't put it on your nature strip. Uh, if you want to sell your produce at the farm gate, that's not going to happen either. And now you're not allowed to ride your bike into the main street and other surrounding designated streets. That's right. It's, it's madness. It's absolute madness. What's your message to the council, Meg? My, my message to the council is please form a working group and work with the community for all of the different wards in our shire and please let's work on creating some bespoke laws that actually reflect um, the different communities and creative communities in this shire. Uh, thank you. We will stay in touch. This, um, this vote is happening on Tuesday night, I understand. Yes, it is. Uh, thank you, Meg Ullman, writer from Dalesford, who's a bit grumpy to discover in the local, on the local Hepburn website that the following designated roads are declared areas where the use of wheeled toy vehicles and bicycles must not be used at any time, which also means that the kids can't ride their bikes to school because that's in the main street. Vincent Street, Dalesford. Albert Street, Dalesford. Howe Street, Dalesford. Uh, what are those things that you used to be able to do and you suddenly find were bad with the stroke of a pen? 1300 303 468.